One of the greatest things about Air Manager since it first came on the scene was the ability to share instruments among other users in the community store. Now with 3.5 version of Air Manager we have the ability to not only share instruments but also to share panels. So in this video I'd like to show you how you can turn a panel that you have into a layout and how to submit that layout and instruments uh, to either the Air Manager store for community sharing or how to export them to share with other friends. I'll also show you how to import an instrument uh, that has been shared by a friend. But before I do that I'd like to clarify something from my previous video about Air Manager 3.5. I talked about the various panels that I uh, demoed and that they would be included in Air Manager and I maybe was not completely clear. Of course the uh, panel for the Cirrus that you see here is included. If you go to the uh, Panels tab and click plus new panel or add new panel you can see that as you scroll down you will see the Cirrus Vision panel here offered as an option. Uh, to add. However, some people said I don't see the Cessna 172 SP or the Baron with the different configurations that I showed. Now let me show you how that works. If we come down here to the to the Cessna 172 SP you can see now these are pay panels so you have to buy the panels. I think they're 10 euros each uh, for the uh, Baron and for the Cessna once you purchase the panel then if you click next now you're provided with options the full HD the dual GNS or the reality XP GTN 750 you get those options so you can select those and use those as a base uh, to add to your panels so that's the uh, same thing with the Baron if you select the uh, uh, plus panel and select uh, Baron Beechcraft uh, Baron, uh, the pay version, not the free version, but uh, if you select the Beechcraft B58, uh, you can see if you click next, you now you're offered the full HD, the GNS3 uh, 530, and the, GN, the GNS and uh, GTN uh, 750. So those are options that you have available, and that's all included in the price. Any additional sub panels to each of the panels is uh, available but it's only available if you purchase the panel because a large percentage of the instruments are, or most of the instruments are from the original panel that was a pay panel so I hope that clears that up so let's say that you have a panel that you've been working on that you'd like to share with others either by submitting it to the store or exporting it to a file that can be shared with others via email or other ways. So let's look at this, uh, the Beechcraft Duke that I've been working on. Now the very first step that you need to do before you can start is to create a preview image to be used in the instrument later uh, with the layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So to get a screenshot, let's uh, let's drag this uh, out of the way so it doesn't obscure the pop-up windows for the GPS that need to show through. And then we'll just open the panel. We're going to need the uh, snipping tool from, uh, and let's go ahead and open the panel and we'll use our snipping tool and we'll say uh, new and we'll say uh, in this case I'm going to use the rectangular mode and go from the upper left to the bottom right and make a capture and as you can see we have a nice image and we'll save that image with the name preview okay and we'll save that someplace that we can find it like Duke panel and we'll say save. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so now we can go to the Create tab, and we have two options here, of course, instruments and panels. We want to select panels, and you, we want to create a new panel. So we click New, 
and here comes our panel information. We select the first line and we type in a name. Let's call it the Beach uh, Duke B60. Author, I'll just put my name in there. I'm going to untag it as a personal uh, panel and I'm going to call it uh, version 100 for version 1.0. Aircraft, prop, cockpit, steam gauges, engine count 2, platform supported. We'll use the Windows, Mac, and Linux which are the uh, X-Plane platforms. And then we can put a description as, as we dis de desire in here. I'll say my Duke B60. But you could put a more detailed description. Then right click, select line number one and right click and say add new aircraft model. And then select that line and say Beechcraft for the model or the uh, make and the model was the Duke B60. And then you have a choice here. You can say if it's a generic panel. Uh, you can select generic and just pick the simulators that it's compatible with. Uh, in this case we're using a, a model by RW Designs for X-Plane and we'll put the version number in and I'm guessing 1.2, I have no clue. And then the simulator, in this case X-Plane. So then we'll go back up to uh, that line and right click and select Add Layout From uh, and it will give us a list of all the panels that are currently in our Panels tab. In this case we want to select Beechcraft Duke. And there it's added that panel. You can, If I click down you can see that it shows me a list of all the instruments uh, for that panel. If I select an instrument it shows me the user properties that might be uh, available for that. And those user properties get carried forward into the panel layout and are available or set already for someone who uh, takes that panel. Now let's click on that line and we can see they got the uh, name of the panel, the layout for that panel that we selected, uh, the position we want this to be in if it's a multi-panel layout. There's left and right. Uh, those are the standard positions we use. We got center left, center right. We have center. We have uh, an overhead and a pedestal position. In this case the left will be good captain's seat. We have the ability to make click-through available. There is a slight penalty in performance for doing that. We don't need that uh, for this particular uh, layout. And uh, whether the panel should be editable. Then we also have the uh, background image. Now this is a little bit confusing but the background image can have can either be a, a transparent background, a solid color, or a layout. A layout is an image just like we used the image for the uh, panel. It's an image that goes with the panel. Background color, again, custom color. We want the capacity and the brightness to zero. I just set them all to zero and save that. And what that's saying is that we got a clear background so that if we have any clear parts of our, any transparent areas in our uh, background image uh, the, that we use, the layout image, uh, that we'll be able to see all the way through the desktop, which is what we want for this uh, pop-out windows. So we select image and we look on our, uh, in our uh, computer here in the desktop. I have an image uh, for the background of the Duke and there you can see that. I'm going to select that and that image is there. And then we can put user properties if there are any for the panel, in this case none, in a description. So in this case we'll say uh, type in a description. Uh, Duke B60 for RW Designs. So, anyway, and when we're happy with all that, we just click OK. And you can see now we have a Beach Duke 60 panel here, and that's available. And, matter of fact, uh, we only need to do one more thing. We need to bring that preview image in there. So if we click the folder, you can see it's pretty much the same layout as an instrument. It has uh, the library file, the resources, the uh, info, and the logic. And we need to add the preview file. And we had saved that. So I've copied that file from the uh, 
Duke Panels folder and I'm going to paste that in here right into this file and you can see that preview there I'll just open it to confirm I got the right one there it is it's clipped a little bit in this view but it's all there and we'll close that and we have a complete file that's ready to go now now if we want this preview image to show up in the uh, add panels tab we would need to restart the program but I'm going to go ahead and show you how this would work anyway I'm going to close that and we're going to come over here to the panels tab and I'm going to say plus panel and you can see now the Beach Duke 6 B60 shows up here and once we restart that image that preview image will show up right in in this blank area here and you can see there's the description that I wrote and so whatever you put in there under each uh, of the different aircraft types will show up for the panels. And uh, here's what it looks like after restarting. You can see the Beach Duke uh, preview is now available. So there you go. That's how, that's how you would uh, be able to use that layout multiple times on your computer. Uh, and that's how it will show up when other people import it. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we have the, the panel available now. Let's talk about how we can uh, share that with others. We'll go back to our Create tab, and you can see we have the Beach Duke B60, and we have two options. We can click Submit, and this works just like the instruments. Uh, you can select it more than one panel with uh, Control Click. You can uh, use Shift Click to select all the panels, but in this case, we only want to export this one, and it. There's a license agreement here and it basically says some stuff like we're going to share your panel and we're not going to, you can remove the panel and we're not going to sell the panel and, and we deny panels too. Everyone doesn't get to put them on here if we don't feel they're up to snuff. And then you agree to those statements and you put your name and uh, email and any comments and then you'll be able to hit the submit button and send this in to Sim Innovations where it gets reviewed and uh, if it uh, is uh, working well and is up to standards and it's not a duplicate of something uh, then it uh, will be placed into the uh, store as a panel. Now one caveat, uh, if you're going to send an, a panel in that has instruments that aren't already in the store you need to send those instruments also. In this case you'd have to go to instruments. Now a lot of these I have named as Duke but you can select those instruments and I said control click you can pick them out of sequence you can select as many as you want and then just select submit and those will all be submitted um, those instruments would be submitted too but they're going to be submitted separately uh, from the panel itself so my suggestion is to make some some of the comments here, in here to identify the panel so to make, make sure that it's understood that this is uh, instruments that go with a specific panel like I said if they're already in the store it's not necessary but if they're not uh, the panel won't work because the panel uh, layout does not carry that. So anyway, back to uh, panels. And uh, the other option is exporting. And it works exactly the same way, uh, it'll, but it allows you to take those instruments or the panels uh, that you've selected and export them to a file. If you've selected the line and you select export, it creates a SIFF file Sim Innovations file format, a file that you can name. And my suggestion is if you're going to share this with people, you might use like Beach Duke 60 layout and you would call the instruments Duke B60 underscore instruments. And that way, when you send these two SIF files, it'll be clear to whoever you're sending them to uh, that they need to incorporate all those into their panel and into their instrument database so that they can run that panel and when you're done you click save and you can save that and uh, do whatever with that file it can be uh, my suggestion is to put the instruments and the layout into a zip file together and send them email them that way um, some file uh, some mail systems won't accept files other than zip so that solves that problem and it also keeps the files together so there's no confusion about uh, which instrument files go with which panels files so anyway that's the export process So back to the Panels tab, uh, if you're in the Panels tab, uh, you can see that uh, 
is that um, if you want to add a panel and it's already been submitted to the store, it's going to show up when you click Add Panel. It's going to show up in this line up here. Now, expect this to get a lot longer in the near future now that individual users can submit panels. And we'll probably see a lot more diversity and probably in the future a better way to, to organize those. But in the meantime, you'll have a list of panels that are available there. And that's how you would load them. And then if the, as long as the instruments are in the database, they automatically get downloaded after the panel's downloaded to populate the, the, the panel with the correct instruments. So that's super simple. Now the other alternative would be that you want that someone sent you the, the uh, two SIF files, uh, possibly two, one for a panel layout and the other for instruments. In that case, you need to come up to the air manager. Let's close that. You need to come up to the air manager, uh, air manager uh, menu and go down to import. And then you just need to find those SIF files and import them. Now, um, I'll pick a SIF file here that's, that's here's one for, uh, let's see, something here. Uh, let me find one here that would make sense. Here, trial SIF. If I say open, it says some instruments already exist on your computer. Do you want to replace the following instruments? The Garmin G1000 overlay. Well, I'm going to say no in this case. And it says successfully imported one instruments. But you can see how this works. You, you can import and it'll know if it's instruments or, or panel layouts and they'll be put in the right place when you click import. And once you do that, then when you go to your panels tab and click plus panel, uh, those panels will show up in the list here. So, and again, uh, as long as the uh, panel uh, had, was already saved, the, the icon will show up, the uh, thumbnail will show up here. So, that's really all there is to importing the panels. Uh, just a matter of coming up here and saying import and importing the correct SIF files. So, so in review, what we've looked at, first of all, is how to build the panel, and then how to export the panel, and finally how to import a panel, uh, either to export a panel via the Submit button, if you want to make it available to everybody, or to uh, export it to a SIF file, which you can share with other users uh, that you'd like to share it with. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today. I think this, uh, the idea of having um, an awesome uh, set of panels available is going to make uh, Air Manager even better. And I'm excited and I wanted to make sure everyone knew how to do that so we can start to get panels submitted so that we can start sharing our work with each other uh, on the community store. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll uh, subscribe if you don't already. Uh, hit the notify button if you want to be notified. Put your comments below, questions below, and I thank you for watching this video. See you again soon.